So what is this? This is a sampler. There are four channels of sampling. There is a previous video where I show how it works. So here you have like the record buttons. You press while you have an in and an out. It's pretty simple. This is the volume and pitch, which is the only thing, yeah, which is important. This is the pitch and volume and that's it. And playback. It will play while you press. And yeah, it's pretty nice. It's super fun to use. And you can see the magic here inside. And it's this. So this is called an ESD1820. You can Google it. It's like a voice recording module. So today what I'm doing is I'm building this beautiful thing. This is in, this is out, 3.5 stereo. So now we can record, but this is volume, pitch, record and playback. Hello and welcome to this beautiful tutorial on uh, DIY sampler. Hello and welcome to this beautiful tutorial. Don't expect like uh, good quality of sound. It's crappy. But I think it's fun. It's just fun. I have not invented this. There are a bunch of tutorials on YouTube and internet. I just made another one. And the way I wanted to learn this, my knowledge on electronics are bad. I don't know. It's like more something from intuition. Uh, probably my soldiers, you will see, you will check that they are not good, but they, they work. That's it. They just work. This sampler here is exactly the same as this, but four times. You can see there are four modules, one, two, three, and four. The only modification that we are doing, you're adding two potties, one for volume and one for pitch. So this is the cable that comes with the kit. It's for the speaker. And here are the connections that we are using. So first of all, we need electricity. So it runs with 1.5 batteries, as you can see. Little jumper that we are using, so you have to connect red to the VCC voltage and the black cable to the ground. As I said, my soldering is pretty bad. I do it just uh, as I can. Uh, connecting and voila, we got light, so we got power. Um, that's it. Now the next step, we need to put the uh, sound out. So it will be a 3.5, you can connect also a mono. We got sound. And then, yeah, we got sound. Yo. So we can record. Yo. At this moment it's taking uh, the sound from the microphone. Next step, we need to get rid of the microphone. So carefully, I'm not doing it very carefully, but okay. So here we have like the two connections of the microphone. It doesn't care if you go from one to another as it's mono, don't worry about that. You need to solder to these little pins and put a 3.5. I'm sorry for that. This is the audio in. So at this moment, I am just putting the audio from my iPhone and yeah, it records, it works. And now look. Yeah. Okay, so let's make the diagram of this sound module. So it's like this here, here. We need to take care of this one, the R4. This one will be the pitch control. You will see it later. But here we will connect a potentiometer just to control the pitch. So this is audio in. The connections. We have here these pins P, E for the power. We are using the, this one and this one. Red voltage, red sorry, and ground, black. We need two buttons, one for rig and one for play. Let's say this one is rec, record. Red means recording. So we are connecting this to this pin, play button. 
So you have to decide whether you can have uh, two different play buttons, two different play modes, which is this play E and play L or here play E, play L. The play E means that you push once and it will play and the whole sound and the play L is it will sound while you are pressing the button. Okay, so we are using this one. So we are connecting here to the third pin. Okay, and the other one, the black one, we are going to connect these two pins together here to ground. So this will be our connection. This is the one that I'm using. Okay. What about the other pins? Ah, they are quite interesting. As you can see here, says P E. So if you put here uh, another switch, what you got, let's say that we put like these kind of switches. So if it's on, if there is connection between these two pins, it will play a loop. If you, if you want to have like audio feedback all the time, if you want to hear what you are recording, you need to connect these two pins together. I think this is clear. Just you can take a picture of that. Let's go. Let's move. Move forward. So this is how the jumpers uh, are connected to the pin. Now we need to figure out how to put the pitch and here, as you can see, there is the R4, R4 resistor and look. So what is happening here is that if we circuit bend it, we see how it goes super fast. So it's telling us that this is the pitch control. Okay, so next step. We need to get rid of the R4, R4, this resistor. You have to do it very carefully. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing it right or not, but it works. I hesitate, it works. So next, instead of the resistor, we are using a 100K potentiometer. You need to connect it as, as you can see on the image. And yeah, like this, um, yeah not much more to say about it so yeah probably i don't know if i'm soldering correctly <laughs> but here it is the result it's connected like this to the resistor and we have pitch control you can check it out yeah it works so the next step we just need to put a potentiometer as a volume you put it right on the cables of the speaker and that's it that's pretty much uh, we have everything and that's the moment i enjoy the most like putting everything inside the box and yeah that's it that's very fine <laughs> work there <laughs> blah we have it lo-fi sampler and when there is a risk, and when there is a risk, and when there is a risk. As if there was not uh, so many good speeches to sample. Okay, but that's fine. And yeah, right. Putting everything. Well, that's the difficult part. I'm sorry about this mess, but <laughs> thank you for watching. What? You know, like, who's calling? Who's calling?